Hey guys, what up? This is Spiritmong187 and welcome back for a new match of Shadow Era, where we are still playing with some Dark Law. And we are playing against the Zalada today. Let's give him the high. Have fun, and I do think we have beaten some Zalada in the past. What do we have over here? We have 276 rating, 10,000 score points, so we do need some more to end in the top 100. And I think January 1st or January 2nd, some guys were already at like 10,000 score points. But you need to play so many matches, it's just outrageous. You need to play like 10 matches a day, have like 300 rating, and when, win all 10 of them. Then you will probably receive some bonuses or end in the top 10 players. So he has his anti-matter into play, his card draw is up, and I didn't have any blood moons, so that sucks. There goes a uh, smith. Um, I don't think I'm going to cast this evil sentence. No, why not? This on turn. It's not going to damage the gargoyle, but any other allies that he plays in the future. Uh, another gargoyle. So no damage for him. But I always try to get out the lone wolf and the evil ascendants out as quick as possible. Ooh, what do we want to drop? Another master smith. Mm -hmm. Or we could just skip it and not go for the lone wolf. I do want to go for the lone wolf, but. I think I'm going to skip this, play this, trigger our ability, give 2 damage to the gargoyle, and if it attacks it will be dead. Or if it won't attack, it won't attack, then I will attack it again, after uh, I have enough shadow energy left back. Unless he's going to destroy this weapon. He's going to bounce it back to his hand. That's okay. Will he attack or won't he? I think he will. Yep, there it comes to damage. Bringing me down to 24. Using his ability. Taking me down to 21. Okay. That's still a nice card. This is also pretty nice. Let's get rid of the Master Smith. Let's just play the Lone Wolf so for some life gain. And attack him in the face for one. And we'll just enter here. So, yeah, if I'm going to lose this match again, I will switch deck. This is just not possible, you know. I've played some matches with Dark Law on my phone, on my tablet, and won most of them. And this will be the third upload with Dark Law, and it will be a lose, I think, because this is a pretty bad situation over here. Well, he's going down to at least to one health, or to two health, sorry. Um, two health, so you can blow him up. He will survive. No, he will not survive. <laughs> so I think the best play would be this Fury and Terror. Move this weapon, play the Fury and Terror. And destroy that mage. Let's just destroy that mage. And we should draw something soon to destroy the anti matter. Or a blood moon for ourselves or something, but. Well. It's not going very well. Here he comes another 3 damage in my face. Take 
me down to 15. And 4 damage I will receive from the gargoyles. Well, I can destroy one next turn, so. Or deal 2 damage to one of the. to, to, to the other gargoyle. Um, let's skip this. Play this. And yeah, gargoyles are nasty, so let's just capture prey this one. And hit this one in the face. Take him down. And we'll just end turn here. And we'll draw finally some additional cards. And that comes regeneration. And we really could use a Shriek of Vengeance. That would be so nice, but we're not drawing any Shriek of Vengeance now. Why not? Because this deck hate me, I guess. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm pretty excited. What about you guys? I'm pretty excited about Shadow Fates. I've seen some really cool cards already. Some cards. One of the cards is a little bit like my name, Spiritmonger. It's this Gravemonger. And it's a card that will cost uh, 4 resources. And it's a 4-4 ally. And if you have 6 or more cards in your... Uh, Graveyard, you can remove one of them, exile one of them, remove it from the game, and it gets plus two, plus two. So then you have a six, six creature ally for four resources, which is pretty good. But in the early game, you don't have six cards in your <laughs> graveyard, sometimes not even in the mid game, but it's still for four resources, four, four, so you can, it's pretty nice still to play, but. Okay. Oh, this is turning out pretty well, maybe. You can destroy this gargoyle. That's nice, I hate these gargoyles. And we'll just unturn here. But I have like three streaks of vengeance, and one would come in pretty nice if I could destroy it. He's drawing too many cards. So, yeah, that Gravemonger is pretty nice, and from the cards that I still know, uh, the new wizard ally or mage ally is pretty nice for a tree shadow energy search library for an item or artifact or only item or only artifact I don't know um, I put it into play with a with the cost with the costing cost of three or less that's pretty nice um, here we have a morbid acolyte and the ironite crush we can deal some damage to Acolyte or to his hero. Um, do we want to cast this full moon already? No, I don't think so. So we're just going to play this blood moon, I guess. Yeah, play this blood moon, put him in the face for two, and we're still on 20 HP, so we still have a lot of life for him to chew down. And we drew a new card, and I think this evil sentence, the one we drew from the Blood Moon. Let's just see what he's going to do this turn. He's probably going to overflow the board with allies. And he's on a, a little bit of a time bomb as well. He's drawn so many cards. Well, not much more than me. I've drawn 20, I have 20 cards left in my deck, yes, 17. We both play 40 cards, I guess. Here he comes with some more damage. This crush is going to die to die this turn. To the evil, evil ascendant. He's going to 3 health. 2 health. So he's at 2 health. I could play this one. Sacrifice my weapon teeth and destroy it. Would save me some damage. Mm -hmm. Or oh, I get attacked just twice. And I would take 2 damage. 
and I think I'm going to do that. Shall I play this captured prey on this one? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to attack him twice. I'm still a little bit scared of a, a big ally that's going to play. I don't know if he has one, but... And we'll just enter. Right? Yeah, I did the right thing. We drew another card. So we have a full hand now, so we have to sacrifice something next time in order to draw some more cards. Or just play our Blood Moon. Now it's time for Full Moon soon. <laughs> Blood Moon, Full Moon. Here comes this weapon, Shadow Fane or something. Let's draw some more cards. Discarding a Karash. And I'm going to receive some damage now. So we're going down to 11. And with our lone wolf, we're going up to 12 now. 13, sorry. And let's get rid of one speed strike. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Um, so you could deal at least 3 damage with this one, 2 with this one, it's 5 damage. Well, that's not enough. So we're still the safe, we don't have to play the full moon. But I'm going to take out this dead mage. And hit him in the face for 3, taking him down to 20. And we'll just end turn. So I guess we need the full moon next turn. Because he will drop some allies, he has to. can still remove some of his allies. He has his ability already ready for play. So this match is already taking 12 minutes. So I guess we have to play with some Amber Rain soon to destroy my weapon. To play some more matches in a short amount of time. Or some Grave Bone. Uh, no, not Grave Bone, Bane Bone. There he comes with 3 damage in my face. Take me down to 9, and he's going to hit me in the face. Take me down to 7, and I'm going up to 9 again. Well, we do want to play this one, and what big teeth, and we do have enough resources for that. Or we could destroy him. Um, he could do 2 damage with this one, take me down to 7, 3 from his ability, take me down to 4. Right, let's get rid of this one. Let's destroy that one. Play this one. Use our ability. Play the blood wound. I'm in the face for 6. Because I don't think he's going to kill me this turn. 5 damage he could do at least with the shadow font, with his ability, with his weapon. And then uh, maybe he could play a death mage and take me down to 3 health. Let's just see what he's going to play. Here comes a crush. Drawing some more cards, so yeah, he's sitting on a time bomb. Here comes the disciple, that's which has a lot of health. Destroying my wet big teeth. Which sucks, because we do not have a backup for that. There comes a lone wolf, let's get rid of this speed strike. This sucks, he already has 3, so he will destroy him next time. Hmm. 
Mm. Unless I would say play this one. Play this one. Just left from the other half plus two attacking I go take that point. Hmm. We could play this one, destroy as garage. But this one would be the death. So I'm thinking about disabling him of course. Yeah we could play him take two less damage. Um now we're going to play this full move. And turn. So it won't take any damage. So you will die just because of the evil sense. And we really need a wet deck thief. So he's going to draw some more cards. He's almost out of cards. Lots of wolf and savage. Okay. Well, he can attack me, but it won't help. There comes a wet deck thief. That's nice. Okay, let's skip. Let's play this one. You see ability. Put him in the face. You want this one gone? No, we cannot just destroy him yet. Uh, we could take two damage, four damage, plus three. Four damage, plus three, seven damage. Then we go down to four again. Mm. Playing this one would be my death, I think, because he could have a mind control at his sleep. So we just hand turn him. And we've drawn uh, now your mind. So we're going to get some damage. And he's going to draw himself to death. Well, there are the shrieks of vengeance. Woohoo! Just in time. It's taking me down to nine. Six. And he will attack. Taking down to four. And he's down already at three health. Is that right? Yeah. Three health. means that I have won this match, right? No, not yet. Let's just play this one. Hmm. No, I have not yet won. If he can use his ability, I'm dead. Before he attacks. If he has a shadow farm, I'm dead. Right? 3 damage for 5. No, I'm not. Let's just enter. See what he's going to do. <gasps> My god, I should have attacked him. This is stupid. If I attacked him twice, he would be at 1. Drawing 1 card, dead. But. Yeah, okay, that's a mistake, but we'll survive it. Right? Going to four. Help. Yeah, with one. GG. Almost, almost screwed it. Let's just take him, take him down. Yep, the Dark Law won. Well, it was a pretty, pretty tough match. Most matches with the Dark Law go a little bit easier, except against that Zana of the Mist and that Granite. But those are kind of hard matchups. Well, I still hope you like this match. Do not forget to like, subscribe. Do not forget to like. I really need some likes, guys. And comments. And we'll see you next match. Cheers!